Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do the weekly reading for the lovely sign of Gemini. Okay, Gemini, let's put you on display. There we go, look at that. Okay, we're going to use the Golden Tarot for your reading today. Firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you're interested in anything, readings, life coaching, everything is in the box below. If you can't find what you want there, you can email me or whip over to the Aussie Goddess Facebook page and like my page. That way you can keep up to date with everything. This is only a general reading, which means it may not be your story um, and may not be what you want to hear. So make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart or failing that, watch another reader. I do. Sometimes the reading don't resonate with me either. Sometimes I sit here thinking, nah, this isn't me at all. But someone else has my reading every time. All right. What's happening for you in the next week or so, Gemini? Okay, so we have the Five of Cups coming through. All right, so something here is saying to me that you're going to spend a little bit of the time this week looking back at your past. Now, I always say there's a healthy looking back at your past and going, wow, didn't we have a great time when we went to the fair. That's a healthy looking back. The five of cups is that being entrenched in your mind energy, not able to see forward because you are so stuck on your remorse or regret about something. Could have been something that happened at work, could be something happened in your family, could be the end of a relationship. Something like this has got you all up in your head thinking about the past. It's not the most productive energy and it does bring down your vibration. It can be very sad or depressing. All right, so you may be dealing with a Leo Sag or Aries with the King of Wands here. I note that he too has got his hands on his heart. So I feel like something's happened here that there's been a little bit of disappointment here. Um... And maybe even you may have walked away from something here, but somebody's feeling very sad about that, if that's the case. Whoever this person is, and they don't necessarily have to be a Leo, Sag or Aries or a fire sign, not at all. Um, because the energy of a, a fire sign can be someone who is a leader or a manager Maybe it does have something to do with work for some of you. Someone may have had to let you go from work. All right, let's go a bit deeper. All right, yeah, someone's cut you out here. Oh, look at this, creating stress. Okay, you're going to be fine, okay, because we have the nine of coins here. I love it when you get a nice favourable outcome. There is something in the next little period of time, or may have happened already, where you're going to be disappointed by something. It could be the end of a relationship. It could be the end of a work situation. Whatever this is here, it is bringing you round to a great change. So always remember the reason we are given change is to give us a new opportunity, a new experience. And I feel like something here is giving you an opportunity. For some of you, you may be maybe have not okay i feel like for some of you you've been contemplating giving up a job for a while and starting up your own business and maybe you're faltering on that and the universe may have poked you with a stick a few times and you're not listening sometimes when that happens we get those tower moments and all of a sudden we find ourselves without a job and then we start to think maybe this is the time to invest in what we want to invest in that is the time to go. So for some of you, that is the energy I'm getting through here if I'm talking to you. It's almost like something on the flip side is much better. You know, the grass is always greener. 
the cloud has a silver lining, all of that stuff. Something here is happening. All right, so we have the high priestess coming through. So the first thing I want to say to you, this is about really using your intuition here. So instead of getting sad about something, instead of having regrets, this is the time to really see why this is happening. What is happening for you to make you move either in a new direction or try something new here? And I feel like your intuition has already been speaking to you, but maybe you have not been listening. Something here is about to surface and you're not really, you may not be aware of what's happening here. Whether this is something internal in regards to your own abilities or whether this is something coming from the universe, something is about to take a great leap, change. Something's happening. All right. Let's dig deeper. Ten of Swords, end of a cycle. This is the end of negative thinking. This is the end of all this experience and all these lessons. You've done it too many times now and the universe is saying you need to learn from these lessons, move on. This is overthinking, procrastination at its best. This is needing to move in a different direction because it's time. The cycle's closed. The door is closing. All right, we have the nine of wands. So now I get this energy that you may have a little, lack a little confidence in yourself here. There's sort of this energy of wanting something, but maybe something hasn't worked well in the past. And now every time you do something, you come up with this negative energy here. So instead of trying something new, you keep going back to this. You can't keep cycling in this energy where you go, OK, it's the end. I'm done. I'm finished. Oh, I don't want to start again just in case I get hurt. It's done. It's finished. But I don't want to try again. What happens if it doesn't work? That's the energy here. It's not a healthy energy at all. Take that Ten of Swords and make sure that you're moving to the Ace. Ace of Swords is good. There's the moon. All right, so something is definitely being hidden from you at the moment. But you may be hiding a talent that you're not really bringing to the surface here. You could be hiding something from yourself here. I always say to some, you know, people that I, that I speak to that the, the moon is the energy of everything being buried below the surface. Everything needs to be kept in the dark. And we wait for, to shine light on this. So sometimes this can mean that something good is underneath what's going on here, but we haven't actually brought it to the surface yet. I feel like you're on the verge of something big. It's like you're on the edge of something amazing here, but you're not seeing it because you're looking, look at him looking back at this Ten of Swords. Nobody wants to get hurt again. This guy's looking back at this Ten of Swords and going, I don't really know whether I want to try this again. I don't know whether I'm up for this. I don't know where to start. But the moon and the high priestess on either side of this say to me, there is something about to come to the surface here. There is something being raised up for you to work with. Oh, how exciting. All right, so we've got the page of coins coming through. Some of you may be getting financial backing here. Queen of Swords, this is taking your power back with the Five of Wands. I feel like for some of you, you've got someone giving you some sort of financial backing. Maybe you have been in this sort of situation where you're not sure how to move ahead, but now somebody's coming in to offer you money to help you move. Beautiful energy here. But because you can't see it yet, you're sitting in this energy here of worry and stress. But the universe is saying it's here for you. It's about to come through. You may have contact with a lawyer here or a solicitor. There's money coming here. There is news of money coming that's going to help you rid yourself. You're going to be cutting out this stress. You're going to be cutting away all this energy. There's a transformation here for you after you complete this cycle. All right, four of coins. You've been hanging on to your money very tightly without realizing you actually have a destiny here. 
Something is really being hidden from view here. The universe is trying to offer you a cup, but you're still in this, this energy. <laughs> and you're refusing to take the cup. So you've got to get out of this energy and understand that there is something very, very important here happening on the other side. Something is about to be shown to you here to help you understand not just your own personal power here, but also to understand how to trust the universe. They have heard your call. I feel like with this cycling you've been doing through your neg negative thinking or your negative way of doing things has actually held you back here. And you need to cast that aside and just trust that it's coming your way. Because I feel like the universe is about to come in with some sort of offer here. But you're so stuck in this thinking here that you're missing it. You're clinging on to some sort of past energy here. Okay, five of cups energy. You're clinging on to something from your past. Maybe something didn't work for you in your past. Maybe something didn't go the way you wanted it to go. And you're still hanging on to what you might see as failure. But it was learning. It's all past of you, all part of your divine story here. So this is about you stepping into your power and doing something again, but doing it differently this time. Not trying to control it, not trying to work hard with it, but just allowing something to unfold. Even though you don't know what the outcome is, even though this is all being hidden by the universe. I feel like for some of you, there's some sort of financial relief coming in here. And I feel like it's putting an end to this energy of stress and sadness. All right, let's just have a little look back. All right, so this is why the Five of Cups energy. You need to let go of this holding on to the past. You've got something beautiful coming in for you in the future. I feel very strongly now I've seen this, that there is something here you need to take hold of and release with this King of Swords. This is about taking leadership and moving forward with clarity. Because I feel like you've been in this energy and I feel that the universe is trying to move you into this Nine of Pentacles energy where you are self-sufficient, where everything is sort of running with you rather than against you. And I feel this is the energy you've got to get comfortable with. It's a real energy of needing to let go of control, needing to trust in the universe. But I feel like you're sitting on your past mistakes or sitting on your past energies rather than understanding that something beautiful is sitting in the wings for you. Now, there's a little bit of a possibility here that it could be another relationship. So don't knock that out of the ballpark. There's the tower flipping there. So I guess what I'm seeing here is if you don't start trusting the universe and allowing them to do their work, there's going to be this energy of a total deconstruction. But I feel like you're sort of making it to the winning post before that steps in. There's very much this energy of you taking up arms before that. All right, we have the card of the lovers. I thought that for some of you, this may be about love. You may be so stuck on past love that you're not seeing what's coming towards you. Ace of Wands, there you go, brand new start. With the judgment card. All right. For some of you, this may be a second chance at something, whether that's in work, whether that's to do with money. What is holding you back here is you're hanging on to past energy, hanging on to regret, hanging on to remorse. You're not allowing the universe here to intervene. The universe has the answers. She's trying to tell you that something is coming for you here. You've got to trust it. For some of you, this could definitely be the return of a relationship that you may be feeling sad about in your past. You have to let it go and move on so it can be recreated because there's some sort of rebirth here. 
for others of you it may be an opportunity at a business a job for some of you it could be just about letting go of your past and embracing your future that one wants to come out look at this door to value 31 new beginnings in finance or career <laughs> this card shows a door with a gold coin on it opening to a place that's filled with light and bright potential money coins and jewels fly towards you through the open door revealing a golden city beyond all of this points to the potential for exciting new beginnings or expansions where work or money are concerned perhaps a new opportunity is totally unexpected or perhaps it's something you've been working towards for quite a while. Either way, keep your eyes open for this new beginning to appear in your life. Know that anything you value may be open to you now. Remain conscious and creative and get ready to step through the door. Oh my goodness, sometimes I'm amazed at spirit. That just perfectly aligns with this reading. Have a wonderful week, Gemini.